So let's move on to the next one. We have an autoresponder. We have sent. We have started sending email. So what else do we need to do? We need a funnel. We need a funnel. A funnel will help us. Now we have created an autoresponder. What else do we need? We need to create a conversion funnel. A conversion funnel will help us make more money if we are into e-commerce or if we are into affiliate marketing will help us know which customers do we need to target so to create a conversion funnel just go to tools scroll down to conversion funnel and click on one of them so you can create a funnel from scratch or you can use a lead magnet so a conversion funnel will just work the same way as a as a landing page the purpose of a conversion funnel is to get subscribers so if you don't want to use a landing page then you can use a conversion funnel so let us say we are giving away a lead magnet so for that purpose i come and add a lead magnet all i just so if i click create a funnel build a list you can sell a product you can promote a webinar so i want to create a funnel for a lead magnet so for that purpose i'll talk about the book so that's my name then click on save and continue and from here you can choose a lead magnet that are provided by the response and i would not advise you to use this one you need to create your own lead magnet and upload and come here and click on add a lead magnet and you can add your lead magnet upload your image upload your file and so on but because i don't have a lead magnet right now i just use an existing lead magnet and i'll choose one of them here let me choose let me choose this one 20 ways to improve your email marketing tactics and then click on save and my now this will direct you whereby you are supposed to create a sign up page so let us go ahead and create a sign up page so for this purpose we are going to use a template so let me use one let me click on lead magnet template because we are giving away a lead magnet and then i'll use let me use this one so let me talk about email marketing and then click on next step as usual i said the first thing you need to do is create a new variant and then you can have two options so let me work with the variant a so you can add a pop-up but i don't want a pop-up so you can style this one as you want so the, i think this one is good for me i already showed you how to style these sign up pages so i'm not going to repeat the same so let's go and style up a pop-up form because our pop-up will pop up anytime so this is our pop-up so you can just go ahead and style it because this landing page comes with a pop-up so anytime someone to try to leave we'll get this pop-up so this is our pop-up form so what we can do is change this text sign up and copy my tactics so i've changed a few and i'll click on after i'm done i'll click on exit then i'll come here and save again i can go to the thank you page thank you page this is our thank you page i think this is okay apart from the logo i can just go ahead and get rid of the logo just go back here and get rid of this logo again because the thank you page has no logo then click on next step so provide a description here free email marketing training then you can click on index choose your url or add a custom domain thank you page confirm opt-in and publish 
after you have published your landing page you will see the signups from the form and from the pop-up so you can go ahead and see that but next we need to create a download page so let us create a download page and for the same we are going to use a template we are not going to use so because we used this template so let us just use the same template here and talk about email marketing download and click on next step then we can preview it let me remove the logo because we didn't have a logo on the other side then click on next step then talk about download page download page then you can publish after we have confirmed everything is okay so you can see now we have a sign up page and a download page now what you need to do next is create an email so let us create an email for that purpose so and i'm going to use the same email i've been using so i'll talk about email marketing tutorial and I'll do what let me just copy this and paste it here as a subject line and then I'll personalize it a little bit I'll come here and personalize it and use first name then click on next so from here I can choose what I want let me use plain text and I'll go ahead and copy a part of this email and paste it here so you can see we have recommended with so you have to change that one so let me make sure it fits here so that looks great then after you are done with that and click on next so your funnel is good to go so you can go ahead and start collecting emails and sharing your landing page the assigner page to your sales funnel and from there you are good to go so let me click on that so you can see now what we have is landing page download page autoresponder message and we have a number of results so let's take it for a test and see what we can get so let me uh, click on this one and then we can give it a try let me provide my name then my email and then click on download and you can see it takes us to our download page that's how it appears so if I come back here and refresh this page if I come back here you realize that we have one contact from our form and not of our pop-up so if people are signing up from your pop-up then it will appear the number will appear here so now the download page is still zero because I have not downloaded the, the lead magnet but you can see here uh, one message has been sent and you can see your success rate here and that's how our sales funnel works so a landing page collects emails download page an autoresponder message and then uh, your results will appear here so these ones are great for people in affiliate marketing if you are giving a lead magnet you need to know if someone has done a certain task so that you can know which message do you send next so that's how you create a conversion funnel so if you want more tutorial on how to create conversion funnels using your response then you can leave a comment down below and i'll go ahead and create a more detailed tutorial on how to create sales funnel using get response